In the circuit shown, a potential meter of total resistance 120 connected in parallel with other resistors. So when you see this um, arrow thing, uh, that means this jockey, they call it a jockey, can move around and poke here, poke there, affecting the ratio of resistance of this section. So they ask, they tell us an important hint, voltmeter is zero volt when the slider or potential meter is one quarter of the way from the lower end. So it's going to be down here. One quarter, right? Yeah, one quarter. What is resistance R? I would recommend when you have potential meter and you're not sure how to think of this thing moving around, try and redraw. Absolutely, try and redraw. So let's say I simplify this a bit. Um, I'm going to have 12 volts. And this is going to go over here. Come down. Let's split up this 120 into two resistors, two parts. First part, and then the tiny section that we chop off like that. Just, just to, to make it easier on our brain a bit, okay? So there's two resistors there, which is previously joined together. Then on the other side, we have the other. This one, and this two. All right, we got 12 volts. So we know this is 150 ohm. We don't know what is this R. What is the resistance of those two? Uh, this one down here is one quarter, right? In potential meters, generally you can use R equals to rho L over A. Okay. Uh, usually it's a, this is a wire, lah, so length. If it's the same material, same cross-section area, you can say R proportional to L. So if I have one quarter of the length, that means I have one quarter of the resistance. So I do a bit of calculation. Why is one quarter of one, two, zero? That's going to be... Eh, my thing... 30, right? I think it's 30. Oh, I need a calculator. I can... 30 ohm. So this one down here is 30 ohm. That, that means the other one up here is 90 ohm. 90 plus 30 should be 120, right? Okay, check, check and see. I'll check and see. Now we have everything we need except one point. The voltmeter. Voltmeter actually is an important clue. It is saying, if I connect be voltmeter between here and here, I measure the difference is actually zero. The delta V, the difference is zero, which means the potential on the right side at this point is exactly the same as the potential on the left side at this point. Why is that important, Clue? Cool. Because if you have 12 volts coming out of your battery, let's draw the 12. This is potential, 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 potential. Until you go down the resistor, there's a potential drop. Lose energy already. So here is drop. Let's call this V... I don't know what to call this. V1. Nah. And the drop on the left and the drop on the right here must be the same. If not, how are you going to reach the same potential in the middle? It's a bridge. So 12 drop by some value, I reach V. 12 drop by the same value, I should reach V. And this should be the same height. Okay, like climbing down two ladders. Then the next part, I drop again. Another potential drop here. Let's call this V2. I would should drop down to zero because now I am returning back to the battery. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Go back battery. Potential. Ah. Zero potential. It is 12 volt. Potential. Potential difference is the, the V1, V2. So here another potential difference, also V2. There is this concept in potential dividers where you can do a ratio. Let's say I take the ratio of the left side. This ratio of resistance are 90 over 30. 90 ohm over 30 ohm. It's the same ratio as the potential difference shared by the two resistors, V1 over V2. This is a potential divider kind of equation or concept. Uh. Ratio is the best friend. If you are bigger uh, resistance, you are uh, you take more voltage or you take more potential difference. Because the ratio like that, ma, you're more hungry, okay, la, you take more. But this V1, V2 is the same on the right side of this potential meter. So V1, V2 also same. So this ratio, 150 over R, is also the same ratio. So I'm going to write here 
150 ohm over R, which is what we want to find. And that's where we can find the R finally. So we can say, all right, 90 over 30 equals to 150 over R. And that's where you will find your answer. And you get R is 50 ohm. So 50 ohm, this one. There we go. So potential meter, I will call it kind of the, perhaps the last and one of the hardest, harder subtopics in DC circuits, electricity in A levels. So if you find it, this type of question a bit mind-boggling, it's good to practice more on potential meters. How you recognize it? You see the arrow here. Arrow that can slide around and poke here, poke there, a wire that can be moved around. That's how you know it's a potential meter question. But that's all for this question.